Maybe it, the smart thing to do. Now, why do I not get texts all day and then as soon as I start filming, people want to text me? Let me get this together really quick. Hello, welcome to my video. If you're from my Instagram, I love you. If you're not from my Instagram, love you all the same. Today, as you can see, we're gonna be talking about microneedling. And before we get this party started, I really need to put a disclaimer out there, okay? So I am not a licensed esthetician. I am not a dermatologist. I am in no way, shape or form a professional. I'm just a girl <laughs> sitting in front of a camera telling it her experience. If you know where I adapted that quote from, hit me up, I'm sure we can be great friends. But anyway, I really just started deep diving into the world of skincare maybe about I want to say a year and a half ago so I'm quite new with this I am not a professional if you have any concerns or doubts seek professional help don't ask a stranger on the internet I can't help you I can just only tell you what I've experienced so far so here it is so when I told you that I started deep diving into skincare not too long ago what I mean by that is that before then I really didn't know anything about skincare. Nobody taught me the importance of it. So I just kind of found out through YouTube and Google and the internet. And what I used to do before actually doing actual research was I just went to the drugstore, found whatever said like combination skin on it because that's my skin type and bought that and didn't even think about it at all. I just used the products. And by the way, I used to use only face wash, toner and moisturizer but just sometimes i didn't even use spf please don't yell at me in the comments like i yell at people now you're supposed to use spf on the daily regardless of anything but that's a whole other topic what we're talking about right here is the fact that i really didn't know what i was buying i didn't know what i was putting on my skin i didn't know how it affected my skin if it was even the right thing for my skin type so I just kind of bought whatever and, you know, used it and of course it didn't work because it wasn't catered to me. So I decided it was time for a change. I actually started googling ingredients that I saw on the labels, figuring out what they do, where they're sourced, if they would be a good fit for me and my needs personally. And that's also, by the way, how I found out about microneedling. So microneedling, if you didn't know, this is what it is. And these are some of the benefits. Pause to read it, do your own research in your own time, but I'm just giving you a little bit of a breakdown. Once I read that, I decided that microneedling sounded like something that would be perfect for my skin. So I went to an esthetician and I asked her if that's something that we could do. She recommended that we take a closer look at my skin before we do the microneedling. She wanted to examine my skin and really see if that's something that would fit my needs. And I, of course, agreed. And then we examined the skin and she came to the conclusion that microneedling would be perfect for me. Something else that she recommended before we got started with our first session was that we actually do a deep cleaning of the skin and an extraction. So we would extract all of the impurities, all of the blackheads, all of the pimples, so that we could really start off with a clean canvas. I thought this was a great idea, so that's exactly what we did. But something that surprised me about the extraction, which I had never had done before in my life up to this point, was how rough I would look immediately afterwards. So that's the before, and that's the after. And yes, they're in the correct order. I did not mix them up. But I will say that while I did look scary after immediately after the deep cleaning, it cleared up the next day. Literally by nightfall that same day, I already looked so much better. And by the next day, my skin looked fine, like nothing had happened. And when it came to microneedling, after my first session, I didn't look as rough to start out with, but it did take longer to heal. It took about three days to heal and I did have some peeling and my skin immediately after did feel like it was sort of burning, not burning, but just like I was hot to the touch and it kind of felt like I was burning up a little bit, but I was told that this is normal. So after my skin cleared, we went ahead and started with the first treatment of the microneedling and this is what I looked like. I will say the pictures are not the best because they were taken on an iPhone with the selfie camera because I just didn't expect this to be a video, but nevertheless, here they are. And what I will say about it, based on what I read, I thought that it would hurt more and it really didn't hurt that bad for me. Actually, I wouldn't even say it was a pain. It was just kind of uncomfortable, but I have been told by tattoo artists and the esthetician herself that I do have a high pain tolerance. I don't know how true that is. Do with that what you will, but I'm just telling you in case you go get your treatment and then come back here and tell me, oh, it hurt way more. I don't know. Okay. This is just my experience. But for me, 
it was maybe a constant 6 out of 10 probably and then on the areas where she really focused more it was maybe about a 7 so she of course did my entire face but we really focused more on my pores over here and right about here and then we also focused on my chin and my forehead more than my cheeks and stuff so it was about a 7 there otherwise a solid 6 it wasn't that bad it was just uncomfortable it would feel extremely nice in the evenings after my treatments when I would apply my skincare which I was told by my esthetician to continue on doing to continue on using my serum and my moisturizer so that's what I did and every time I put on my serum after treatment it felt incredibly soothing and nice and I will say that my skin has never felt as hydrated as it did after my microneedling treatments because when you get it done, your skin soaks up the product so much better. I literally felt like I had serum soaked up in every single pore on my face and it felt incredible. So I was very happy about that because I decided that even if aesthetically it doesn't improve anything drastically, my skin felt better so I was satisfied. So I'm going to be putting up pictures after every treatment I had. I think I have all of them on my phone. I had about five treatments I think and after each treatment I kind of looked similar it wasn't anything too drastic it did take about three days to heal my skin did peel a little bit but that's about it I will say a note here if you're a person who menstruates you need to hear this because I, I this is not something that I read or that I was expecting so it just so happened that I had one of my sessions during my period and I went there and she was doing everything like she normally did. This was, I think, my fourth session or something or my fifth. I'm not sure. So I went there. She was doing her thing. And I was at about a solid eight and a half, maybe nine, to the point where my palms literally started sweating. I did not like that at all. And I didn't say anything because I'm not that type of person. I just thought I was in more pain today for some reason. I didn't even correlated to the period and as she was doing my skin she said oh your skin is reacting differently today are you about to get your period and I said that's funny that you say that I'm literally on my period as we speak and she said I could tell and I said how I didn't even know you could tell and she did say that your skin does react differently during your period because it's more sensitive in that time and she asked me if I was in more pain than usual and I said yeah and she was like yeah that's normal so that's that's something that I didn't know that maybe you should prepare for because during that session, I was in pain the entire time, I will say. I did not like that at all. And as you can see, it did look worse than any of the other sessions. And if you noticed, I did have some marks on my face. They kind of looked like cat scratches right around here and around here. That also went away within like three to four days. So let's talk results. The microneedling improved my skin texture. It got rid of my acne scars. It definitely shrunk my pores considerably because I had pretty large pores right around here. And I noticed that, especially when I was applying my makeup before I got the procedure done, every time I would apply my makeup, I would look in the mirror and my pores would be huge and I would really be upset about it. And I use, by the way, the same foundation now that I used before I went to the procedure. So it's not a change in makeup, it's actually a change in my skin. It's something that I noticed. When I apply that same foundation on today, I can barely notice my pores and I'm very thankful for that. Also, I really don't get cystic acne like that. I still get hormonal breakouts, of course, but that's normal. And after about a week to two weeks after each procedure, my skin had this beautiful, healthy, natural glow to it that it didn't have before. Actually, before it looked quite dull, but after the procedures, it looked healthy and glowy and beautiful. And so not only did I get aesthetically everything that I wanted from these procedures but my skin also felt better so would I recommend microneedling definitely I think that if it's something that you're already looking into go to a professional ask if that's something that should be done on you and then just go get it it is expensive but it did give me all of the results that I was hoping for and more so I would definitely say that it is worth it so if you've gotten microneedling done let me know your experience in the comments below or if it's something that you're thinking about also let me know and if i forgot to mention anything i think i'm gonna roast myself editing this video anyway if you have any ideas any wishes also comment or you can dm me on instagram or whatever you want but anyway thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye